I uh, uh, got my uh, college education degrees and started into the workforce uh, literally as the nation was deciding that, well, going to the moon six times uh, with the boots in the regolith was enough and we'll go do other things around the world maybe. And, uh, and oh, if we're going to be in space, then we'll just exploit space with a reusable space shuttle and uh, I'll see what happens after that. So exploration was not so much in my uh, career future, but uh, I saw the utilization of space as being uh, a direction that I was going to pursue most definitely. I found a corporation that was interested in, uh, in developing potentially commercial industrial processes and uh, working with that corporation as the uh, first, uh, one of the first engineers in a commercialization project uh, we focused on looking at pharmaceutical processes that uh, would benefit from the absence of gravity. Gravity controls everything here on the surface of the earth, including the, the biophysical processes and fluid mechanical processes that, uh, that industry you know, works with, leaving most of them, leaving gravity behind uh, to execute most of them would be a very interesting pursuit and possibly give us new and pure metals, pharmaceuticals, materials of all kinds. That was our pursuit. And uh, so I was deeply immersed in that, developing the uh, processes and equipments along with our uh, microbiologists at the McDonnell Douglas Corporation in St. Louis. I was focused, we were focused on fitting in with the NASA culture to the extent that uh, NASA was the only Western space agency with a spaceship that was going to space and the only one that could go to space and come back again. And for a business that's producing materials out there, that had to be the way. So uh, we focused on, uh, on working with NASA as a partner to start with and eventually intending to be a commercial user, reimbursing NASA, the federal treasury, for uh, the use of the space transportation system. That was our pursuit, and I was the uh, chief test engineer, as I said, uh, who trained astronauts to start with, NASA career astronauts to start with, to execute our experiments in orbit on a minimalist basis. They had dozens of other things to do on, on every mission that we were manifested on. But uh, the company was uh, bold to, uh, to say to NASA, you know, this, uh, these industrial researches can best be done with a expert that's most knowledgeable in them. And we have a guy who has his hand in the air. Now, truth be told, I'd applied to be a NASA career astronaut, but along with 8,000 other people were turned away. So uh, I looked for the back door and that was my back door. And I had the company behind me in this, uh, this, this innovative approach to the use of space. And that got me my, uh, my rides to space as a research engineer with uh, th three different test flights of our system aboard space shuttle.